Hey guys, it's Chris. You know, there are times when you're happy to have an animal in your home, like when they're your pet. But these stories were definitely not the case. From bees to bears and everything in between, here are 10 of the craziest animal home invasions. Number 10. Beware? When it comes to bees, it's often best to keep your distance. Because when disturbed, they tend to attack. But for Josie Para in Houston, Texas, she really couldn't do that. Why not? Well, because the bees had already taken residence in her house. But not just via setting up a nest in a corner of the room. They actually lived within the walls of her house. And not in small numbers either, but in whole swarms. To her credit, she allowed the bees to reside within the walls and ceiling for many, many years. Which, when you think about it, is actually a rather outstanding feat. Would you put up with this? Now, eventually, she got tired of it. And literally tore down the walls and ceiling of her house so she could get rid of those bees. And when she did, she found hundreds of thousands of them within her home. Given that the bees lived within her house for years, this makes sense as population numbers for hives can get to be quite large. She did eventually get every single bee out of her house. And when she did, she was rewarded with the honeycomb they left behind, which was enough to do a ton of cooking with, as she now found herself the proud owner of 200 pounds of honey. Unless you're a cuddly poo bear, this goes to show if you have a pest problem, you should probably just get rid of it early. And don't wait for it to fester. Number 9. Mama's House There are many animals that you would expect to try and get in your house for one reason or another. But bears aren't one of them, because you'd expect them to be in the woods and not out near your home. However, that wouldn't be the case for one person. One night, they heard something downstairs. And when they went to check out what was going on... They found out that a bear and her two cubs had gotten into the house, and they were really happily roaming around in it. When the person took pictures and videos of the bears, the mama bear actually charged in order to ensure the cubs weren't harmed. Now, you might be wondering, like I am, how the heck did the bear get into the house? Well, that was this person's roommate's fault. They had left every single house door open, then after doing so, forgot about the open doors and went to sleep. As for why the bears went into the house, well, that's actually rather easy to explain. Bears have a very sensitive nose, and no doubt it smelled like food from within the house. And since the door was open, there was no issue with just going inside. Now, pro tip, if you want to make sure that bears don't break into your house, well, you just make sure that the doors and windows are closed. Number 8. Grasshoppers all over town the grasshoppers have been known to swarm on occasion, but one of the most notable swarms in history was one that happened in 2014 in Albuquerque, New Mexico. In fact, it was so bad that they dubbed it the worst infestation in 20 years. If that doesn't give you a clue of how bad it was, picture this. The swarms were so dense that they were actually being picked up on radar. Albuquerque has not seen these levels of grasshoppers since the early mid-1990s, said John J. Garlish extension agent at Bernalillo County Cooperative Extension Service. As for the radar part, that wasn't the New Mexico people talking about it. Rather, it was the National Weather Service. That's right, the service that the whole country uses to find out about the weather. This swarm was detectable on their highly sophisticated equipment. The clouds of grasshoppers were so thick that it was confusing the radar into thinking they were clouds of rain. The number of grasshoppers swarmed all over the town and could be seen both out and inside the houses, making it clear that no one in the area was safe until they departed. And they eventually did, but the damage in many ways had been done. Number 7 Cougar you looking at? Arguably one of the worst kinds of creatures you can find invading your home is one of the big cats. You might think that this is rather uncommon, especially if you're living in places where lions and tigers don't roam or exist. But for one woman in Chile, she was reminded that there are other cats out there, like a cougar. And one actually broke into her house via a window and started to ransack her kitchen. And the woman didn't hear the cat at first. But when she went to the kitchen, she found her visitor. Naturally terrified, she called animal services. And when she did, they came over and sedated the cat. After ensuring its capture, the cougar was released to a local zoo. Number 6. Seal of Approval While there are certain animals that are more likely to invade a home, that doesn't mean there can't be a few surprises. Such as when a woman in New Zealand found herself looking at a new house guest. An adorable baby seal. 
You're probably wondering like I am, how does a seal get into a house in New Zealand of all places? Well, the woman who owned the house had cats, and that meant she had a cat door. The seal got into the house through the door and started to roam around, eventually ending up in the living room. The seal got comfy and started to make some noise. When the owner came downstairs, she was in for a shock, not just because there was a seal in her house, but because the seal and her cats were playing together and they were loving it. So while uninvited, that seal seems to have melded quite nicely with the family. Number 5. Fox in the House Waking up and finding something or someone you don't expect in your house? Well, that's no doubt a nightmare for many people. In Birmingham, England, a woman had just such a nightmare, because when she woke up, there was a fox cub next to her in bed. While likely adorable, foxes can be quite harmful and occasionally bring diseases. So she ran out of the room, and her husband came in soon after and took a picture of the fox. After doing so, the husband carefully guided the fox out of the house. Number 4. Raccooned Raccoons have somewhat infamous nature among humans, mainly because they're seen as thieves and they look like little bandits. And while some of their labels are unfair, they have earned many of the other ones on their own, including thievery, as one family in Oregon can attest to. One day, the family came in to hear something going on in their house. They called the cops, and when they entered the back room, they found four raccoons on a shelf arranging art that was on the wall. Further investigation proved that not only were these raccoons familiar with the house, they had been in it a lot. Apparently, there was a hole in the vent of the roof. So they were just coming and going and coming and going as they pleased for a long time. Number 3. Bears Again you might be thinking that your home is safely secured and you won't have anything to fear for animals like bears, but you'd be wrong. Bears are incredibly intelligent creatures. An episode of Mythbusters proved that they're so capable they know how to open up van doors with their claws. And as a man in Idaho proved, they will do anything to get food and drinks from inside a house. One day, a man found a bear trying to get through a cat door on one side of his house. I mean, they didn't succeed, but that's hardly the point. The point is the visual of a bear trying to get through a cat door. If it wanted to, it could have just sniffed through that cat door to confirm the scent and then just break down the door to get the food it wanted. If you don't believe me, here's a few key facts for you. Before this cat door bear pick was taken, the man found his house broken into by a different bear. This bear went into the kitchen and stole some Pepsi and a couple of candy bars. So no matter what way you look at it, if a bear wants to get in your house, it just will. Number 2. Lynxed In There are many kinds of big cats in the world today, and one of them is a lynx. And one woman found herself in a stare down with one inside her own home. The woman was simply going to her kitchen, and when she did, she found the lynx looking at her. Naturally, she pulled out her camera, recorded the confrontation, likely so she could prove that she was indeed being invaded by a lynx. Despite not being agitated by the camera, the lynx did not like it when the woman continued to approach it, so it lashed out a few times, including almost hitting the woman once when she refused to leave it alone. Dude, what are you doing? Leave! How this duel ended is unclear, but being that it wasn't the lynx that uploaded the video, it's fair to guess that the woman won out in the end and the lynx isn't in her house anymore. Last thing you want is a lynx with Wi-Fi. Number 1. Snakes in a House Believe it or not, snakes are actually one of the animals deemed most likely to invade a house in one form or another. Their bodies allow them to get through holes, pipes, even toilets. I'm be thinking about that next time I have to pee. However, a pit of snakes, which is another word for a group of snakes, it's actually kind of rare, which makes an invasion of black rat snakes in a home in Maryland very crazy indeed. This happened to the Brooks family, who decided to move to a house in Annapolis, Maryland. Due to the fact that they moved in December, they had no idea what was coming. But then spring arrived, and so did the snakes. It started out with finding snake skins and droppings, and then they started to see the snakes themselves. And not just small ones, but big ones too. They eventually had to evacuate the house because the snakes were just everywhere with no explanation as to why. Even scientists weren't sure why the black rat snakes chose that particular house to nest. Snakes have a habit of picking odd spots to make their nests, and the Brook House was one such oddity. Thanks for watching, guys. Can you believe some of these animal home invasions? It's so weird. Have you ever walked in on an animal in your home? How about you let us know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time on W5L.